Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Mouse Tutorial. Today's topic is Imagism. Imagism was a subset of modernist movement. So it was kind of a part of uh, modern English literature, modernist movement. It was a reaction against romantic and Victorian poetry. So as I always tell you, always remember that uh, any moment is uh, reaction to other moments it is stressed on simplicity clarity and precision in the description of images and that's why it is called imagism if you are visiting our channel first time let me tell you every day at 7 30 pm we bring you a topic of english literature and that will definitely help you in your literature exam so subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for Future notification. Now, if we talk about the origin of this word, some of modernist poets started paying attention to imagery in their poems. So, it was uh, modernist poets. It was mo modernist poet. Uh, modernism was the period. Modern pe in modern period, uh, there were some poets who started using you know imagery in their poems, and they made this the point of attention focus focus point you can say focus point was imagery that's why it is called imagism and they wanted to make images the center point of attention what i just told you so this starts with t e t e hume's poem autumn 1909 and a city sunset so important writer was from where it all started it all originated uh, T. E. Hume was the poem, uh, poet and his poems were Autumn, 1909 and a City Sunset. Now, if we talk about the characteristics of this poetry. So, direct analysis of this subject. No decorative language was used in these poems. Second was simple language was used to uh, describe any image or imagery. And here must be written in rhythmic or musical uh, musical phrases so that's why they have to wrote uh, a new uh, rhythmic style or they they have to create some rhymes some of the extra point here uh, one of polyphonic prose you will uh, you must know such terms for your literature exam this term polyphonic is prose sorry polyphonic uh, prose was coined by john gold fletcher and it was kind of free verse as i told you they have to write with freedom and uh, uh, they were finding some new ways to uh, explain imagery that's why they got this uh, term poly polyphonic prose so polyphonic prose was kind of free words. If we talk about the themes of the works, World War I was the theme and Images of War by Richard Adlington. There was a work uh, by Adlington, Richard Adlington, 1919, 1919 it got published. And the name of the work was Images of War. Second, Greek poets, they uh, took inspiration from Greek poets and uh, examples from there and modernism obviously it was subset of uh, modernist poetry and next was nature if we talk about uh, about nature particularly there were some poems like Blue Symphony by uh, John uh, Gold Fletcher uh, 1914 and Sea Garden by Hilda Doolittle and The Swan 1909 by F.S. Flint. So these works are related to nature theme. Some examples of images poetry. Orid. Orid 1919 by Hilda Doolittle. A poem about a nymph ordering the sea. So this is uh, the subject matter of the work. In a station of a metro 1913 by Ezra Pound. This poem has only 14 words and two lines only that's why i also searched this poem and wrote here the portion 
of these fa faces in the crowd petals on a wet black bow so this is the poem complete poem just in two lines 14 words were used uh, for just imagery for notes and courses you can whatsapp me on uh, 7409287156 uh, see you soon uh, at 7:30 pm tomorrow with a new topic we will be discussing some other topics uh, of english literature till then goodbye take care